Cosmic Loves. Welcome back to Persian Red Space. And I'm doing a little thing on Facebook. Um, and I wanted to record it for you guys as well. Um, about conserving your energy. And it being like one of your top priorities. Because we tend to give away our energy and abuse it for different reasons. So go ahead, get your drinks, get your smoke, sit back, relax, and we'll chill with me. I get all tongue tied for this little video. Um, I'm getting myself together, so once I come on, I'll probably be looking back and forth um, between two screens. Okay, all right. See you in a second. Um, so on this live, I'm going to be talking about your energy and why it's so important. Because a lot of us, we know the importance of energy and everything like that, but we still have. Um, a tendency to not do our energy justice. So um, with that being said, I'll go ahead right in. So when you have people that you know, that you love, that mean the world to you, you want to do everything for them. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that absolutely nothing wrong with that like that's the greatest thing ever to be here for people that you love but are you just going like head first into this um not really protecting yourself sealing your energy and making sure that you're 100 percent good and it, it people are just like yeah 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 right but even when you have that friend on the phone that is like laying some heavy, heavy dirt on you about something, anything going on, you don't really think, okay, let's back up. Let me, um, real quick, let me, Palo Santo, let me do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like we forget about that part because we are so stuck into helping, um, who we need to help. And that there is... Don't, don't get me wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But those are one of the biggest energy drainers, burners um, that we have and that we take away from ourselves because we don't realize that even our friends, people we love and family members, we give a lot to them without protecting ourselves. Especially when you get that phone call where it's like, I need you, I need you, I need you. <laughs> So going a little bit deeper with that, sometimes we want to, um, for lack of, a, lack of a better term, we want to fix the situation without really understanding that the situation is not for us to fix. So instead of you just kind of giving advice, you do your very best to put your energy into this situation, not knowing all of the details of the situation. This might be a karmic lesson for someone. This could be um, just a regular lesson that the ancestors or spirit has for this person. This could be a... Um, in a way, a law of attraction for this person. And you're trying to put yourself in the middle of it, which mm, is not always the best thing to do um, because then you take on their lesson, their karmic journey lesson, um, whatever law of attraction that they've brought to themselves, you start taking it on. And this is not even your lesson. This is not even something for you to learn, but you're taking it on into yourself. And in doing that, you start harming yourself because you're not thinking about protecting yourself when you're doing this for your friend. You're thinking about helping this friend out. You're thinking about, okay, this person needs me. I need to get on the good foot. I need to do this. Like, it's important. And that's it. You have to take a moment and really give yourself grace and give yourself some time because there are lots of things that can happen when you take on someone else's mess, for lack of a better term. You start feeling that drain. Your 
manifestations, your blessings and your desires get delayed or pushed to the side because now you've taken on something and you've shifted, um, you've shifted the journey that you've gotten on. And you either need to dump what you got or you need to cleanse. You need to do a cleanse. Get it out, get it out. Because it's not yours to begin with. And now you've taken it from someone else and turned it into yourself. That's the more extreme thing that usually happens when you just go into helping people that you care about and you love and that you feel needed. One of the lesser extreme things, but it's still extreme, is that you start chipping away at your own energy. You get tired. You don't understand what's going on. You know, things start slipping into your house. Things start slipping into your mind. Um, a string of unfortunate events. Uh, things just not going your way as you would want it. And then it becomes a thing of, well, what did I do? I didn't know I wasn't supposed to do that. I didn't know, or I don't understand what's going on. It It's like a domino effect because you decided to um, be that, what is it called? That middle person or that person to help that now you put yourself in a position where you're getting bombarded. You're taking on their lesson and all of a sudden they feel good. They feel great. You've become a spiritual dumpster to that person and they have left all their trash with you. We don't just do that um, with people we love and, you know, people we care about. Some of us see people online venting or talking about how bad their life is. And it's not to say that you're not allowed to vent or no one else is allowed to vent and you're not allowed to, you know, give help. But sometimes... We don't protect ourselves before offering and giving help to someone that we see online. We just start giving, 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 giving. And you create an energetic bond between that person just through typing on the screen. And people are like, well, how? They're not in front of me, whatever. I didn't talk to them on the phone. You don't have to. Do you know that there are clear quartz crystals in your computers and in your phone? Because they act like energetic conduits. And clear quartz amplifies energy, no matter if it's negative or positive. Though it creates positive energy. But it still amplifies energy. So what do you think you're amplifying when you're on your phone, when you're on your computer? You're amplifying the energy coming through it. And yes, you're amplifying the energy that you're sending back. But you're amplifying the energy coming through it from that person that is venting. So now you're being bombarded with amplified negative venting energy that you have not protected yourself against, that you are now trying to help everybody with. And that creates, again, an issue within you. That creates an issue within your energetic aura, your, uh, your energy field. And you start getting tired. Things start happening and going to the wayside. Things that are not of your highest good, negative things. You start seeing maybe shadows because you've taken on that person's negativity. Um, you might start feeling depressed. You might feel anxious, frustrated. All of those lower vibrational things that that person was in at that time, you start taking it on as your own. You start picking away pieces of yourself to help someone else. And that is not always the best thing to do. You actually do more harm to yourself. You actually put in more work that needs to be done on yourself, on your journey. Especially if you're dealing with shadow work right now. You're taking on other people's shadows into your own self. Which now you got to work on that part as well with the shadow work that is already inherently yours. It sucks. It sucks all the way around. Like there's really no way around it. And you're just, you're in a space of doing more work. You're working harder, not smarter. Always remember, regardless if you're on a phone, on a computer, if it's just a friend, a family member, or someone out in the street, you need to call in your protection. You need to 
guard your energy. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but red jasper is a very good stone for um, protecting your energy so that it doesn't transfer to another person and protecting your energy so that their energy doesn't transfer back to you. I think I mentioned that a lot of sex workers use this um, and keep this on themselves when they're dealing with clients and things of that nature. If you are a person that does massages or touches people a lot or does a lot of energy work, red jasper works. Let me show you my red jasper one second. Oh, it's not right here. I thought it was right here. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Mm, don't have one right here. But um, I will post a picture of red jasper in the group. Um, I will show a picture so that you can have an idea what red jasper looks like. Um, but it is very phenomenal with keeping your energy to yourself and allow and not allowing anybody else's energy into your space. So if you know you're going to be on the phone with people, talk to people that might need you or your help or require your energy, this is the perfect stone to have. Make sure it's charged up. Um, it's great to use in the sun, give you that positive energy, um, that warmth, that, um, that logical energy, and it keeps you grounded because it is a grounding stone. Um, it definitely works great with the earth. Um, and it works with your root chakra to keep it stimulated, to keep it in sync and um, clear. So I hope that this, you know, helped you guys on realizing that you give away a lot of energy regardless when you're talking to people that you know and love um, without even realizing it. And it's not always conducive to you. It doesn't always help you. And if you find yourself in these, these moods after talking to people or after talking to someone online that's been venting or anything of that nature, this is probably the reason why you have to cleanse. And usually to get all that sludge off, you might want to do a spiritual bath if you're familiar. If not, using Palo Santo and frankincense and myrrh, um, Spirit is basically telling me like using it every day for seven days will definitely help clear out. Frankincense and myrrh, like I've said before, helps with um, antidepressant. I mean, it's an antidepressant. <laughs> Um, as well as removing negative um, energies and bringing in positive energy. So um, that will be something that will definitely help. Make sure you air out your house after burning and smudging it out. Um, if you don't have a bathtub, you can still um, make a little tea, a cleansing tea. And start from the top of your head, your crown, go all the way down to your base of your feet, your roots. And make sure that you just cleanse yourself cleanse yourself and if you know you're going to be talking to people that might be pulling on your energy you also might want to wear a white scarf um white protects your crown to make sure that you're not bringing in too much energy into your crown from others um coconut milk helps washing your hair with coconut milk will also help protect your crown just cover it up afterwards until dry um what else? Um, those are just some simple, simple, simple things that you can do. So um, I'm not going to keep you guys long. I just wanted to give you that piece of advice because I know that we love to help people. We love giving people, um, you know, a little bit of guidance. And when we do that, you just got to make sure that you keep yourself protected because you will get burnt out, drained out real quick and easy. And it usually happens more so with friends and family because we just love talking to them. We love giving them their attention. We just, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't want your friends and family to be in a bad space and there's nothing wrong with that. But we just forget that we still need to um, protect ourselves and be very aware of our energy when we do that. So have a great day, evening, night morning, whatever, whenever you see this. And I wish you guys the best. Make sure that you stay protected and that you keep your energy as one of your biggest, biggest priorities. Bye. Okay, loves. Um, that was really quick. That was really short. 
Um, but be very like be very much aware of where you're sending your energy and how protected you are when you do it because it can get in the way and it can cause harm and you know you don't want to harm yourselves. So just be aware and enjoy the rest of your day. Do not forget to share this because you never know who might need this information. Um, don't forget to like um, and subscribe. Thank you guys for being here and we'll see you next time. <laughs>